Okay, welcome back to the program. Let's bring things back from the war in Ukraine to the political battle developing here in Canada. A new development has just emerged in the race to become the next Conservative Party leader, Conservative commentator, Tasha Carradine, who was widely known to be mulling a run, is now putting her support behind the former Quebec Premier, Jean Charest. She's out. He's not even in, but maybe he is. Prospective candidates have until... April 19th to officially declare their candidacy. And now, apart from Jean Charest, we're also keeping an eye on potential leadership bids from MPs like Scott Atchison, Michael Chong, Leslie Lewis, as well as Brampton Mayor and former Conservative MP Patrick Brown. So far, of course, Tory MP Pierre Polyevre is the only one who has officially put his name in the ring. He just got another endorsement today from Mark Strahl. Andrew Scheer endorsed him on the weekend. The party will elect their new leader September 10th. So is this new endorsement for the yet-to-be-declared Jean Charest a sign that support for the former premier is, well, at least it's growing a bit? And what does it mean for Mr. Polyeva, who's the sole candidate? Many believe he's already got the race locked up. Press Gallery is here. Steph Levitz is the Toronto Star reporter joining us. So is uh, Ian Bailey is from the Globe and Mail. And Tasha Carradine, woman of the moment, the conservative <laughs> commentator, now backing Jean Charest here. Okay, you're the newsmaker. Uh, you're first. Why? What, what was your decision, Tash? Why did you decide not to run, and why are you endorsing Jean Charest? Well, my goal in running, or potentially running, was always to rebuild a big tent party for the Conservatives. I was very concerned um, with developments most recently that the party had sort of strayed from that goal, strayed from Conservative principles, uh, including you know personal responsibility and law and order and a number of things. And I really wanted to work to put those ideas and put the ideas out of a big tent party that could appeal to the 905, to Quebec, to the West, to rural uh, Canada, to urban Canada. We need to broaden the tent. And uh, in talking to hundreds of conservatives in the last four weeks, it's been an amazing experience, quite frankly. Um, I also talked with Jean Charest, and it became clear that we shared a common vision and that there was really no point fighting each other on this. Uh, we are sort of fishing in the same pond, and I would rather put my energies behind him so that we can achieve this big tent party that uh, not only the Conservatives need, but Canada does too, quite frankly. Tash, you, you know by you dropping out for that reason, you're sort of implicitly confirming that Jean Charest will run. <laughs> now, I know this may be the worst kept secret in all of politics, but say. is Jean Charest running? Well, I think he is. He has to confirm it with you. But in my in my understanding, he is very strongly uh, committed to probably running. So there you go, Evan. You'll have to wait for the official announcement from him. I'm sure. I'm sure okay, he will okay. have more to say on that than me. 